everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm back with some DIY school supplies. Also, today's video is my fifth one this week and it's the end of my series. So if you guys like seeing a weekly series on my channel where I post every day for five days, let me know in the comment section and I'll do more. I was thinking I could do one like every like two months-ish. I was gonna say every single month, but I don't know if I could commit to that. But let me know if you guys would wanna see more weekly series on my channel. I think that'll be super fun. If you do wanna check out my other videos this week and all of my other back to school videos, then I'll have a playlist linked down below so you guys can check them out. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys like seeing DIY videos and before we get into it, comment down below letting me know what your favorite subject at school is. I'm curious, my favorite subjects would probably have to be English and art. But let me know which one your favorites are in the comments. I was gonna say description, definitely the comments. <laughs> if you guys wanna enter either of my two back to school giveaways that I'm having at the moment, all you guys have to do is follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram right here, in case you're curious. The giveaway is going to be open for all of my subscribers, so if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. So hopefully you guys like the DIYs and let's get into the video. <laughs> DIYs, I thought I would start with something super, super easy for any of you guys that are like not feeling super crafty for back to school, but like you still want cute school supplies. So if that is you guys, this DIY is so easy and you also don't need a lot of supplies for it either. All you guys need is a notebook. You're also gonna need a piece of cardstock paper and just cut it down to the size of the front cover of your notebook. And then lastly, you guys just need like pens or textures, pencils, whatever you guys have. But all I'm doing is just drawing up some super cute small images all over my notebook. And these are honestly the easiest things to draw out ever. But if you guys do want a little bit of inspiration, I've just gone in and drawn like a crown and a watermelon piece and just like some sassy quotes. I feel like I was really inspired by Typo. They have the most sassy stationery ever. As I was saying, if you guys do want inspiration, I totally recommend just going onto Google and typing in Tumblr PNGs. The all time cutest stuff will come up and it'll give you guys heaps of inspiration if you're stuck. And it's also like really easy, basic stuff to draw out if you guys aren't good at drawing. But once I was finished drawing, I just glued it on to my notebook. I would have glued it on first, but I was like 98% sure that I was gonna stuff up, but I actually didn't. <laughs> sure why but for some reason pencil cases are so expensive the second that they're like they're like a little cute so I thought I would show you guys this really easy DIY pencil case that I made on a plain white canvas pencil case that I bought for like three dollars basically I just went in with my pom-pom fringe that I bought at a craft store I bought three different colors and I just glued each strip on my pencil case with pencil case with some hot glue and the coolest thing about this pencil case is actually super affordable, especially because you can buy this stuff by the meter. So if you just buy as much as you need, that way you don't have to spend extra money and just like waste it. I just went in and did three rows of the pom-pom fringe because I did see something kind of similar to this in store and they had it like tiered off like this. So I thought I'd try and channel my inner store-bought pencil case vibes. Moving on to the next notebooks. I am super obsessed with ombre at the moment, so I thought, why not ombre my notebooks? I ombreed some pencils the other day and I really actually want to ombre my hair, not gonna lie. So I'm pretty obsessed with ombre, but all you guys need for this is just some paint and a notebook. I did it on a canvas notebook. I'm sure this same method would work though on a composition notebook. You guys can just cover the front cover in paper. I only wanted the ombre on the front cover, so I just taped off the binding and then I went in with a sponge and just started sponging on my paint. On the end of the notebook I did a really thick layer of paint but as I got towards like the center portion I did it really thin and then I also took some water just to kind of like blend it out and get the really good ombre effect as an alternative if you guys or like your parents have spray paint laying around then you guys should totally ask if you can use them for a DIY notebook because it's so easy to just take the spray paint and spray the bottom half of your notebook so quick to do it this way and it gives the best ombre effect but that's just like a super quick option if you guys don't have spray paint then you guys could totally still do the first one. So you know when you have a pencil case that's kind of old and you don't want to take it to school anymore because maybe you've graffitied on it or just like pen has leaked in it. Or maybe you guys just want a brand new pencil case. All you guys have to do is just take some felt and then I also took a roll of tape to trace out circles onto my felt. <laughs> 
I also had two other colors of felt, one was in green and one was in blue, so I also traced those ones up as well. And once I was done, I cut all of the circles out. There was like a lot of circles, not gonna lie. I was cutting for like a solid like 25 minutes to half an hour, like it was a long time. Taking some glue, I just went in and glued my pieces of felt down with some hot glue. You guys can obviously switch up the glue for whatever you want. I pretty much always use hot glue for every DIY just because like hot glue dries so quickly, but obviously if you guys have any other glue on hand, use whatever you've got. And just keep on gluing down all of the pieces of felt until you're finished. I just overlapped each collar so it had that like scalloped effect. And lastly, I just trimmed down all of the pieces of felt that were hanging over the corners of the pencil case. <laughs> Hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know which one was your favorite DIY in the comment section. And also while you guys are in the comments, don't forget to let me know what your favorite subject is. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and if you want to see more weekly series on my channel. And if you do want to enter either of my back to school giveaways that I'm having on my channel at the moment, I'm having two. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram. This is my feed. The giveaway is going to be open for all of my subscribers, so if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.